Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. I was listening to one of Jehovah Witnesses talks and this one here was uh, pretty amazing. It talks about loyalty and they use different people in the Bible to um, make Jehovah's Witnesses to believe and obey their leaders. Why should we put our allegiance and our faith in the governing body when time and time and proof we have found that these men don't even deserve nothing from us. They are misleading, misguiding Jehovah's Witnesses all over the world. Why? should I and others who left this false religion to go back and pledge our allegiance to seven men that know darn well the grip and the control they have on this religion. People, it's time to break your loyalty to the governed body. Even on your JW broadcast, we have captured so many things from your gun and body on the lips, their words, their lies. And y'all just sit back and give these men praises and glory. I am glad I have waken up and understand these people that I thought they was helping us to gain eternal life not knowing they was actually deceiving us telling us that um, they the government body are our mediator and Christ is their mediator. And when the Bible said Christ is the mediator for all mankind. So if he's mediator of all mankind how come the Bible doesn't say he's the only mediator for the 144,000? It doesn't say that. People, when you put too much loyalty into yourself, and let it misguide you and turn you into a monster to throw your children out or let your children die on the operating table. 
tell me, does it make you a better parent? Or does it really make you a sorry parent who's been misguided by men that has no powers, no knowledge of the Bible? When you leave this religion and start reading the Bible for yourself, you will gain more knowledge and understanding the Bible like I did and others. When you stop believing and put, just stop given loyalty to those men. Now, King David did put loyalty when he refused to kill Saul. Which that was basically what this talk was about. Because he knew Saul was still anointed by God. But the thing is, Christ never chose the governing body. He never picked them to be what these men wants to be, a king, kings with their gold, fancy watches, their lifestyle. They can go anywhere they want to, get money, go to different countries. It must be real nice to go all over the world and live off other people's money. And witnesses, you don't see it like we do. We are not your enemies. We are your friends, your family, Your fathers, sons, you have mothers, daughters out there who you threw away just like a bag of garbage for those men. And you treat them like they're dead. You show no compassion, no love. Because we all stop believing in this false God. We stop believing the anointed, chosen elders that must be appointed by Christ to shepherd the congregation. I have seen so much corruptness in elders in my lifetime. And up here, I remember a lot of things. What happened? How my mom worked for an elder and his wife. How they stole stuff from a job site. How they stole stuff from their boss man. How I know? Because my mom worked for them.
people, when you see elders breaking God's law and elders being hypocrites for because they, they can do whatever they want to and unless other elders wants to fight with them they can walk all over them but when a religion cover up so much pedophiles and using their lawyers to persecute the victims for what happened to them how can anyone could call this a religion how can you say Jehovah Witnesses is the only true religion when there's so much corruptness and dirt and pain, suffering and people on pills, depression pills, medication alcohol because people are being pushed and pushed and pushed to keep going door to door when nobody cares about this religion nobody don't want to give up part of their life and be door knockers or a salesman for the watchtower there is no salvation. There is no love in this organization. People, Job was his cry, persecution, and they are, they are forced to give loyalty to those seven jerks and that's what they are jerks and they would and every single Jehovah Witness would die or give up their family for those evil men and they are the evil slave the Bible warns us about they have ruined everybody's life and nobody Will ever forget how these men destroying innocent people's lives just for pleasure and money and fame off of other people's lives. Why can't y'all wake up and see the truth? We was in this false religion. None of us cannot and will not come back to it. You Jehovah Witnesses think this is the only thing there is to gain salvation. You are wrong. 
true, true salvation is through Christ, the one who died for us, gave his life, his blood, and his body. And that's the reason he has the right to give us life or take it away. Because his father gave him the authority to clean this earth up and to return it back to a beautiful paradise that I know one day will come true. Because I have that much loyalty in Him and His Father. And put faith into the Bible. So I don't need seven men or any religion to tell me what is right and what is wrong when I can make that decision for myself and when you have seven men are liars thieves and swear on the Bible to tell the truth, nothing but the truth. And he lied, Jeffrey Jackson. And he was supposed to be a representative for all Jehovah's Witnesses when he went to court. That was a joke. And that's what that man was, a joke. When he talks, talk about putting loyalty in this organization, actually loyalty, what they're telling you in a way that you don't even understand. You obey these men you obey and when they tell you to drop dead you're going to do it you will drop dead and knowing that these men has the power and you think they will help you to gain eternal life. People, the disciples prove who they were. Christ proved he, who he was. These men cannot grant you or give you eternal life. It's time to choose your true loyalty to Christ to gain life or you can lose your life if you keep your loyalty to men that doesn't care about you or your family or your friends and one day you will find out the truth you will know that from our videos we told you the truth we showed you the truth so it's your choice time is running out so you better make up your mind are you going to be 
loyalty to the governed body or you can put your loyalty to where the right person can give you eternal life and that is Christ the true mediator of all mankind thank you and enjoy your day